How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the top skins submitted and well we're going into April so of course Easter is coming up and with the Easter update popping up on the 6th I believe uh, you'll be seeing some Easter skins as well and uh, as you can see there's a lot of them usually with holidays deployables are kind of the king and uh, that hasn't changed here especially with a lot of furnaces and rugs this time around but uh, let's jump straight into our clothing but before we do that also if you're new that doesn't mean all these skins will be there um, only 8 to 10 or so are usually picked every week by the game's lead dev, Helk, and uh, you'll have to tune in on Thursdays to see which ones those are. So as we have a little beanie here, and you can see it's like a crack painted Easter egg. Definitely a cute little idea for some Easter clothing. Next we've got a cat for you, and it's the bunny cap, and uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's an Easter bunny cap. Next up, we have a boonie for you, and it is the Carrot Man hat, and well, simply, it's just a booty with some carrot designs and vegetables and so forth, so there you go, very Easter springy. Next, we have a tasty set for you with a boonie hat and a bandana, and they are made to look like it is made out of, uh, you know, ice cream cone and all sorts of deliciousness there. This is the Sweet Treat Boonie and Bandana. Next we have a poncho for you, it's the Easter Choco Poncho to be specific, and uh, yeah, it's just some frosted chocolate and a poncho form, so there you go. We got some hoodie and pants for you, and the first one here is the Guardian of Easter hoodie and pants, and uh, there's actually a high qual set that got accepted, so this was made to match with it, so it could be a continuation if it were to make it in. And uh, yeah, it's got all sorts of kind of straps, has a very military kind of look, and uh, I love that all of the uh, gun holsters have carrots in them, and they're just <laughs> wedged in there. Definitely a funny little joke. So we've got the chick hoodie and pants, and uh, yeah, this is made to kind of go along with the crazy chicken hat that Rust added themselves. Uh, it's, you know, the chicken nest hat, and uh, this has the same kind of like googly eyes and so forth, so the themes kind of, you know, go along with that, and uh, it's definitely a funny idea for an Easter hoodie and pants. Next up, we do have a single armor set for you, and it's some road sign from Milo Frito, and as you can see, it is definitely all Eastered up with sweetness and carrots and treats, and it is the carrot power road sign set. There's already some carrot power pieces, so I could see this possibly popping in to continue the set. We'll just have to see what happens on Thursday. All right, next we've got deployables, and like I said, there's a lot, so we're going to kind of speed through them. Uh, first off, we've got the Easter Bunny sleeping bag, followed by a chocolate sleeping bag. The whole thing looks like the foil is just torn up there in the middle. Might want to get to that before it starts to melt in the sun. And then we've got a cutesy little Easter bag. It is the Easter Bunny bag. It comes in a blue and a green version, which you can check out in the description of the video. There's always a link. Then over here, we've got one more bag for you, and it's the Happy Easter sleeping bag. Moving on, we've got furnaces, and I mean it, like lots of them. So the first one here is going to be the Easter filling, and uh, this one actually has like a crack in it. You see the basket and grass and stuff growing out of it. Uh, definitely kind of a clever little design. Over here, we have the Easter chocolate furnace by Kosum, and you can see it's a little chocolate chicken. Then over here, we've got a chocolate bunny for you with a sweet bunny furnace. Then we've got chocolate bunny furnace over here and it's, you can see there's a chocolate bunny face there then moving on we've got a silly little chick in the easter basket furnace it's kind of poking his little feet out at the bottom there then over here we've got another one it comes in two different versions a white chocolate and dark chocolate so this is of course the white chocolate cake version then we've got another furnace. I told you there was a lot. This is the Shining Miracle Egg. It comes in two different versions with a chocolate egg and a white chocolate egg. So you can see this is the regular kind of milk chocolatey egg. Then over here we've got another one with some strawberry frosting. It is the Sweet Furnace. And lastly for our furnaces, we've got the Easter Chocolate Furnace by Frog. And uh, yeah, there you go. So, moving on now, we've got a couple of small boxes for you. The first one here is going to be the small carrot box by Red Rex. Then we've got a more kind of Easter-y design with the egg basket. And you see it has a nice little soft little, uh, it almost looks like hay or so, something like that, for the eggs to be safely cradled in there. And we've got a couple refrigerators this week. The first one here is, of course, the Easter fridge. It says Happy Easter, various kind of things that you would see. <laughs> Definitely an interesting uh, bunny face. I don't know if that's a nose or a mouth. So it's either screaming or it just has a big nose lower down. I'm not sure. Then over here we've got another fridge for you. This one is the very large carrot fridge. So there you go. 
Moving on, we've got rugs, and the first one here has two versions. You can see both of them here. That's either with or without the face. You've got the smiley carrot rug. Then we've got a bunny for you with the Easter bunny rug. Then moving on, we've got the Easter lawn rug. Then we've got a little painting for you with the cute Easter rug. And then we've got some silly ones with the Easter rabbit disaster, I think. Dreamsaster, there you go. Dreamsaster, so kind of like falling the rabbit down the rabbit hole kind of thing. You know, Alice in Wonderland idea. Then we've got a very confident looking carrot with uh, just simply the carrot rug. And last but not least, we've got a little bunny and a chick for you with the chick bit and rabbit bit rugs. So there you go. Moving on to doors, which we've got quite a few of too. We've got some wooden ones to start off and the Easter Gate wooden door is our first one here. Then moving on, we've got another one with the Easter Bunny wooden door, and lastly, the sweet wooden door. And you see this one has fingerprints all over it. Someone's been smearing around in the chocolate there, it looks like. And uh, if we go ahead and take a look at the back, back has a little more frosting kind of dripping on it, and there is a little hole to kind of see through there and there, which is worth noting. Looks like someone bit out of the chocolate. <laughs> then if we go ahead and come over here, you can see there's all sorts of kind of little Easter scribbles on the back. And then this one over here you can see the little Easter egg design. So moving on, we've got sheet metal doors, and our first one here is this uh, kind of creepy Easter mask thing. This is the Old Man Easter, so there you go. Uh, next, we've got something that's more of a kind of like puffy, puffed out door. It's the Easter door, that's pretty much its name. Uh, next over here, this is the Metal Door Rabbit Warden. It comes in a glow and a non-glow, which we'll show you here shortly. And then we've got a neon little egg door with the Easter neon door. Followed up, we've got a little more traditional Easter look to the Easter bunny metal door here. And then we've got some more chocolate and bunnies and eggs with bunnies eggs metal sheet door. Interesting name. <laughs> and over here, we got something that looks roughly like Bugs Bunny, but enough to not quite be him. The crazy Easter bunny double sheet metal door. Then we've got some kind of like a Art Deco vibe going on here with the garage door, Happy Easter. Then we've got a neon design of a bunny going on with the bunny garage door. Then we've got something I never thought I'd see mixed, but aliens and bunnies, and it seems the aliens look like bunnies themselves. It's the Easter UFO garage door. Then over here we've got a kind of more of a like cutout door for you. It's the Easter present garage door. Uh, the bunnies do look a little bit like they've been through some things. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't help unseeing. Uh, they kind of look like a real rabbit was made out of a chocolate rabbit. Yeah, they're, they're a little scary. Uh, anyways, over here, we've got another happy rabbit for you with the Easter garage door. Simply just not, not the most creative name. Uh, and then over here, or speaking of creative, we've got the Easter game garage door. Comes in two versions, a kind of all green old school look, and then this painted colored in version that we have here. And then we've got a very happy rabbit on the run, the unstoppable rabbit. He's got a yoka and a basket, and he's ready to go. Then lastly, we've got, well, a door that's apparently only for Easter, but I won't tell anyone if you use it otherwise, if it makes it in, the Easter chocolate bar garage door. So there we are. So let's kill these lights. Take a look at our glow. And we're just going to kind of peacefully cruise on past all of them here. He really is cuckoo for those carrots. And got these two, and then we'll take a look at the back. And as you'll see, this one actually doesn't have glow on the back, only the front. And then this one, whoop, there we go, has the glow on the back. Alright, so then we've got the actual fridges over here with some glow. None of the rugs actually have glow. So that's what that big <laughs> gap spot there is. And the boxes also don't have glow, so we can go straight on to the furnaces. These don't really have anything going on in the back, as you can see. And 
And there's those, and that does it for our glow. All right, next up we've got our tools, and first off we've got a sweet hammer for you. This is the Easter Hammer. Then moving on, we've got quite a few rocks for you. The first one here is going to be the Basket of Eggs rock. Then we've got a Chick rock for you, and as you can see, it's just the Easter little chicken. Uh, it's a shame that the face gets covered up so much. Kind of just looks like a bit of a yellow rock, though. Then moving on, we've got another Easter rock for you, and this one is the Easter rock. Uh, simply, there you go. It's a painted Easter rock. Then another rock here. This one has what looks like little candies. It's the Easter cake, and the candies even have like little rust logos on them, which is quite interesting. Then we've got a basket for you, which is actually quite detailed. It's a pretty nice looking rock. This is the Egg Hunt Basket. Then we've got one more rock for you, and this one here is beautifully decorated up. Once again, it's just simply called an Easter rock. Then we've got a tool set for you, and uh, the stone hatchet actually looks like a rabbit. And the matching pickaxe is a chicken, and uh, well, the chicken one just looks really well. Uh, the rabbit's a little squished and kind of creepy, but man, look at this. I mean, that, that's really well done. Definitely a cool idea. Then we've got some more traditional looking stone tools with the egg hatchet and pickaxe. And then we've got a sword for you. So we're moving on to weapons. We've got the salvage sword. And if you take a look at it, man, this is just this really cool cutout chocolate bunny. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, really well done. It's definitely be a, well, it would be a unique one if it makes it in the shop. Next, we've got a couple more salvage swords for you, and this one has a few bites taken out of it. It is the Easter Candy Sword. Then we've got the Easter Carrot Sword for you, and uh, yeah, it's a little flat to be a carrot, but it still looks like it's a bit round. They did a good job on it, so uh, yeah, definitely a very, again, unique looking sword. Then we've got a bow that will go straight with it with a carrot bow. I mean, of course, makes sense, right? Aim down the sights here. You got the green drawstring to go along with it. And there it is. Next, we've got a water pipe for you, and this one looks all sweet, but I wouldn't trust it. It is the chocolate story. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know how many stories that end well with a water pipe to the face. Oh, that's uh, one thing there. The hole was missing. That's a bit weird. Uh, next, we've got a DB for you, which is also all iced up. It is the Easter Choco DBS. Aim down the sides here. And there's that reload. Last in this group, we're moving on to some Yokas. And of course, you're going to see some carrot Yokas because it is, of course, going to be Easter. So here's our first one. This one is made by, I believe, Sadist, I want to say. And then here is our other one. And uh, you can see it has like the little carrot uh, grass at the bottom there that still has the tops of the leaves. And it's, uh, well, I should say the stalks of the leaves. And this was one made by Fresh. So there you go. Two different carrot yokas. Next, we've got a sap for you, and this one is all frosted like everything else, and is, of course, then called the Choco Sap, because, you know, that's just the easy way to ch spell out chocolate. Uh, next, as we aim down the sights, you got chocolate sights, and there's that reload. Next, we've got a custom. No, it's a Thompson, and this Thompson is uh, all custom up, though. Look at that. It's got a custom carrot grip that they may have taken a few bites out of, but, you know, that's just to help you hold on to it better, right? And then you got the waffle grip and some foil and chocolate. I mean, it's got everything going on with this thing. This Thompson is crazy, and then you've got a mix of the different foils and a kind of orangey chocolate mix tip. I think it's chocolate, honestly. Yeah, there you go. Chocolate tip. So there we go. Next, we've got an MP5 for you with some crazy art on the side. It's got this kind of like rabbit skull looking head. It's the Happy Easter MP5. And yeah, man, this thing is just crazy looking. Aiming down the sights, you've got some red sights and uh, a goofy little drawn bunny right there. And there's that reload. Next, we've got a couple of SARS for you. The first one here is all waffled up with a little bunny on the side. It is the Bunny Blast SAR. Aiming down the sides, you've got a waffle cone tip against the chocolate with a big old peppermint there. 
then the other star we have is quite unique look at this thing it literally looks like an easter basket this is the basket with eggs sar definitely a very unique design you got chocolate tips to the site and there we go for that reload all right next up we've got a couple of ak's for you the first one's got some rabbit art on here and he looks pretty mad this is the easter bunny ak-47 by freddy and uh yeah i don't know he doesn't look so happy and those eggs kind of look like skulls aiming down the sides you've got kind of a white chocolate versus dark chocolate or milk chocolate for the sides there Then we've got something that will stare right back at you. This is the GMO carrot. And uh, yeah, it's, it's hilarious and I love this thing. I mean, look at it. It's just crazy. It's not what you would expect for Easter. Uh, it is stockless and has this uh, weird little kind of like nub going on back there. Uh, just the whole thing is just crazy and ridiculous. And uh, look at that eye when you're aiming down the sides. I mean, <laughs> there you go. Next, we've got another one for you, and this one is the Happy Easter AR by GBG. And uh, yeah, it's kind of got a more drawn look to it, I would say, kind of stickery. Aiming down the side, so you've got a little carrot tip. Next, we've got another one for you, and this has a little bunny on the side of it is Mr. Easter AR. And it uh, looks like he's enjoying a little bit of a carrot there. Aiming down the side, so you've got some pink kind of purpley in eastery sites i can't speak anymore at this point guys i'm so sorry there we go oh no that's right we had the right one so next we've got a couple lrs and this one has another very angry looking rabbit this is the lr 300 easter bunny aiming down the sights here you got the bright aqua rings against that orange and there's that reload Next, we've got another LR, and it's way on the brighter side from the other one here. This is the Easter LR300 again. Uh, not the most uh, creative of names going on this time around, guys. <laughs> Need to work on some of this. But uh, aiming down the sides here, we've got red and aqua, and uh, kind of like a purple tone to the white. Then we've got another LR for you. This one here is all frosted up like a lot of the other stuff, and it's the Sweet Delight LR. I mean, there it's a little bit different. At least it didn't have the word Choco in it, right? <laughs> Aiming down the sides here, you've got dark chocolate tip against the frosting and the red for the ring there. Next, we've got a Bolty for you, and this one is detailed quite a bit up. This is the Golden Egg Hunter Bolty. Definitely a nice design, and it's been quite a bit since we've seen some Baltys pop in, so that would be nice. Aiming down the sides here, there's a little Golden Egg, of course, to go along with the name. Then we've got a couple satchels for you. This first one here is got some carrot satchels, or uh, bean cans in it, I should say. And this is the Happy Easter satchel. Next, we've got another one for you. And this one has some chicks for bean cans. This is the Easter marble piece of cake. So there's that. You can actually see the marble in the cake. And last but not least, one more satchel for you. And this one is simply the Easter basket satchel. So there we are, everyone. Sound off down in the comments below. Which ones you're hoping to see pop in this week the most? I always will try to get that feedback to the right people. Anything else, I will always try to respond because I love hearing from all of you. Thanks for watching. Stay rusty, and we'll see you for a fresh wipe.